tomato. The worst person in the world cutting tomato. <laughs> you always have to have a sharp knife, which I didn't start with. So my tomatoes didn't work out very nicely. And now, South African dinner would be complete without a braai breaking. A braai breaking is like a toasted sandwich that we no normally make on the fire. We make it with tomatoes, cheese, and onions. There we go. So, put that aside. Now, you might want to back up with your camera because I'm going to chop some onions now. Didn't do a good job at sharpening my knife, did I? Okay. I normally don't mind cooking, but um, I'm not the best cook when I'm being filmed at the same time. It's a, a strange feeling. Being under the, the gun, as it were. With the cooking. In a traditional rye breaking, you need to put a lot of onion on, like this. This is our joke, our joke. You have to, <laughs> otherwise you won't be able to eat it. So what we're going to do, depends on your particular like or dislike, I like quite a bit of onions. And the strangest thing about my rye breakies is I actually prefer to eat my rye breakies the following day. It is the weirdest thing, I know, but I like a cold, cold, cold dry brick. Next, we need the cheese. Dylan, um, just change the knife. So I'm going to grate the cheese. Use a separate cutting board for the cheese, otherwise your cheese tastes like onion. Thank you, my faithful assistant, Alex. At least in the office, nice we've got a <laughs> lot of very good inside. assistance. Yes. <laughs> That's why we decided to do it in uh, this kitchen. Yes. Now you can grate your cheese because it's going to... No, don't worry about the cross-contamination now. But you can't do it there. Then I'm going to be in so much trouble. Because I'm doing dairy on a vegetable cutting board. Which is not the right thing to do. This is not like cooking at home. <laughs> cooking at home, there's one cutting board or a plate. <laughs> Listen, in all honesty now, you know what I'm forgetting, which is the most the important part of my break. <laughs> it's the bread. Let me go get the bread. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little butter on the bread so it doesn't stick to your drill then we're going to just turn them upside down like that so they don't put butter everything everything else just clean our knife now the trick with the bride breaky is you have to have cheese on both sides otherwise it won't stick together so depending on your preference i'm going to put some onions on like i said i like lots of onion on mine so that's how i do it then I'm going to do some chutney, which I need a spoon for. So I'm going to get a spoon. Excuse me. Don't worry about spreading the chutney. Secret ingredient. Real chili sauce. Made in Jabalani kitchen by yours truly I made this uh, sauce and it from the aquaponics from, it's a chili from aquaponics and to add a little bit of bite to it can you just taste it <laughs> no, <joke. laughs> um, we ordered in some scotch bonnets just to make it a bite right then tomato clean my hands because now I need some Normally you would put black pepper and salt and everything on at this stage, but seeing that I'm not the only one that's going to be eating this dry breaky, I will do that. Leave that up to taste for whoever's going to eat this dry breaky. Okay, 
Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, chutney is also a very South African condiment, right? Yeah. Condiment. See, I need to share sometimes. It's basically this is a peach and sultana chutney. So it's almost like a you would normally cook it out almost like a jam, but it's got a bit of a savoury taste to it as well. So it's sweet and, and savoury. And as South Africans, we eat it with most dishes. Sometimes people will serve it with a bobueti, which is a traditional minced beef dish, Cape Malay style. And yeah, I add a bit of bite. And now I have to put this in the oven because otherwise I'm going to keep on adding cheese to my bribery. <laughs> I won't be able to get in the pan. Okay. Right, here we go. Thank you, Alex. What we're going to do today, just for the video's sake, otherwise it's going to take us way too long, I'm going to make the braai breakie in a griddle pan instead of on the fire. Normally we cook it on the open fire. So it's going to be very similar to a, a toaster sandwich. Only difference is a griddle pan will give it a little bit of that charring, which would be much closer to the normal fire-made braai See you in five. Now, over to the pan. Because we've got butter underneath, if you don't hear me, I'm sorry, I'll voice over later. We'll put it like that. We don't need to put anything in the pan. Put that on top. Very big now. Once it starts, the cheese starts melting, it'll actually drop down. I'll use the spatula to press it down a little bit so it stays together. Like that. Now we're just going to wait for the cook. 